Man, Yo, these let's maps go. are like pavin. This one's just like shaped like a bathtub. <laughs> You're very observant. It's a tube. Or of a curling ring? Like yeah. It's a Twinkie? But a Cheeto. Yeah, yeah Cheeto. Like a Cheeto. Yeah. You know what, I'll take the sure. Twinkie. You're thinking about food at a time like this? Right. Alright. I am hungry. So if you're hungry, you'll have time to get some food, but without further ado, let's get this kicked off. Guys, I just want to um, start by saying, you know, <laughs> thank you all for registering and choosing to participate in this event. Honest to God, um, it wouldn't be possible without all of you willing to participate, right? So I definitely want to make sure that all of you should be very proud of being able to pull this off in a game like Rising Storm 2. I don't think that the game is nearly as pop popular as it should be, but right now you guys are all doing the right thing, and for that I'm extremely grateful. I know that there's a lot of documentation, there's a lot of rules, there's a lot of things to discuss, and for the most part, I'm extremely pleased and impressed by how we have all handled it, so that's my thank you to everyone. For those of you that maybe have never played Skirmish before, or are not familiar with the communities that have gathered and the players that have gathered due to this event, we have a very broad range of, of, of players. So the skill level goes from first time for playing Skirmish, um, all the way to a team like uh, DMC and Twitch, who basically undefeated champions a few years ago, like 30 solid wins against like really hardcore clans. So with that being said, some of the best players in the world that play RS2 are a part of this tournament. Uh, this will likely be the most competitive environment that you guys will ever have the chance to play skirmish in, at least for the, the rest of the life cycle of the game. So really awesome getting this together. And then what I want to say is that make sure that you guys make the best out of your experience. All right. The success of this tournament seriously relies on all of you guys being able to show up to your matches. The rules are set. The time is set. The place is set. And like I just said, all that's left to do is to show up, right? Everyone here willingly volunteered. Everyone here wants to play. Now, with that being said, I think we're looking at about 20, like literally almost every single time zone in the world for people that have registered for this event. And I bring that up because even though we'll have some of the best players in the game, no one's going to be perfect throughout the whole tournament. It's impossible. All right, you're going to get frustrated. You're going to be outplayed. You're also going to be capable of single-handedly winning a round for your team and being put in some of the most epic, memorable experiences that you'll ever be able to have in RS2, specifically with Skirmish. I encourage you all to just do your best and focus on things that you can control, um, especially in the middle of the round. Try your best not to get frustrated, even though it will likely happen. Definitely please don't be throwing accusations or anything like that around. All of the matches will be demo wrecked. If you guys have any concern or if you record something, we'll sync up the time frame. We'll look at it. Um, also, I will be posting the graphics checking mutator. And I would encourage, I'm not going to make it mandatory for today's game. I would encourage you all to subscribe to it on the Steam Workshop because what this is going to do is it'll also create, like, basically, we we enabled all of the stats for the Unreal Engine. So we'll have heat map movement. We'll be able to see what the most popular spots are on some maps, where the most kills and deaths are. So we'll be able to pull a lot of stats from a statistical standpoint for maps that you guys are playing on if you are subscribed to this mutator, which I will post as soon as I'm done speaking. Um, I'll probably put it on the official map list, and then I'll also put it in the event announcements. One important thing that I definitely do need to get off uh, everybody's plate is that you guys all voted to play with instance rendering on. So what does that mean? It's not a fucking cheat code. However, I do my official stance and Tripwire's official stance is that it can 
under the right circumstances provide an unfair advantage. It can, okay? And just so that we're all clear, the way that it works is you have instance rendering turned on, and if you have your foliage or world details set to low, you typically will all be playing on the same level with, with, with those in-game stats, okay? Um, like individual skill level aside. If you choose not to play with it on, that's totally fine. I'm not going to force you to do it, but I am communicating that it is allowed based off of all of your guys' feedback. So I definitely want to make sure that you guys understand that that is allowed. Already spoke about the mutator. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is that from here on forward, we'll be announcing the match, you know, games on Monday. So we'll have more time to fill in backups and plan around the match times. It won't be as rushed as today's games have been. Um, and the rest is going to rely on whoever you guys elect as your team captains, okay? And I really, 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 really need the team captain's helps to enforce the, the two in-house rules. Which, in super duper duper simple words, is that it's no ghosting. If you're not familiar with ghosting is, and both of these are rules apply to sudden death. So, in skirmish, let me just make sure I explain that real quick. In skirmish, when the time runs out, and no objectives are being capped, the game will go into sudden death, which means even if you capture an objective, there will not be an additional respawn wave. All right? And so in that situation where you have zero, like it is sudden death, and no one else is coming to help you, there is no ghosting. What is ghosting? Ghosting is a dead player talking. All right? So... It would be, if I was dead and General Sir Anthony was still alive, I would be, like, spectating him third person and doing call-outs for him. Always coming up on your left or always coming up on your right. Dead man, don't talk. That's another simple way to, you know, simplify things. That also means text. Now, if you are in a sudden death uh, situation, somebody was like, well, can I announce that I die? And I mean... If you hear gunfire and there's two of you left and then I see General Sir Anthony died in the kill feed, he doesn't need to announce that he died. Hopefully you can process that he's fucking dead. Uh, but you can also say, I'm dead, you know, like, uh, but just don't be giving away hints or players positions in sudden death. Now, the other thing that I'm going to need help with is the other in-house rule, which is also in a sudden death situation. And this is to avoid a camping standoff. Basically, what the rule means is that the team that controls two objectives will have the choice. So if a team controls two objectives and it goes to sudden death, they will have the choice to either push for that final objective and end the game if they want, or they will have the choice to defend and make the enemy team come to them. So the team with the least amount of objectives in sudden death will be required to make an active effort to like pursue the enemy. Okay. That doesn't mean they need to leave their final cap and then have the enemy walk in. If they're fighting over the final point, that's still making an effort to end the game. The whole purpose of this rule, and there's going to be a lot of subject to this, is to make sure that both teams aren't just camping in a corner waiting for the round to end because literally the game, the round could go on for like 20 minutes, which is insane. So we want to make sure that we're making an effort to, um, to end the rounds. And if this rule is not working, if you guys say, Deeds, this was a good idea, but right now, you, you know, it, it just doesn't work well in the game, we'll, we'll edit it on the fly, and we'll make sure that it's ready and more proper for next week, okay? With that also being said, I do understand that a lot of players had issues with some of the custom maps, which is totally understandable. As of right now, they're all going to stay on the rotation. And as of right now... If it's unanimous, if you guys are all like, Deeds, this map needs to go. Like, I know you said that it would be fun to commentate and spectate on, but it just doesn't work. We will remove it, all right? So please don't stress out about stuff like that. We'll handle it accordingly. If you guys find bugged or glitched spots, like I said, we've been pretty on top of uh, getting it fixed, so great. And thank you, uh, Tortellini, for helping us fix all of those maps. Um, and that's really all I have to say, guys. I really appreciate you all taking the time to show up and to be here. Team leaders, please remember the two sudden death rules and do your best to enforce it. We will be jumping in and out of voice chats. When I say we, I mean myself and General Sir Anthony, maybe to get a hold of your team comms. So if you want to mute Discord like the little bubble when we join a channel, when you're in a sudden death situation, please do so. But also keep in mind that I'm not going 
we're all adults here. I don't think there's anybody probably under the like in the high school level participating in this tournament that I'm aware of. You're going to be treated as adults. I'm not going to treat you as a children. I'm not going to say I'm recording you. I'm not going to say this, this, and that. So please respect the in-house rules, and let's have an awesome tournament. And thank you guys all for showing up, and let's have some really amazing games. Ooh, uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, Dad. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good shit, bro. Let's make corn proud, fellas. Oh, for those of you want to be for those of you who want to mute the Discord sounds, you can turn streamer mode on. It's under uh, user settings. Streamer mode is at the bottom right above advanced. You can just toggle that on and it will give you the uh, little bit you do. So we got a game here in 15 minutes. It's going to be DMC is going to kick it off against the Minutemen. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll probably get with the two team, team captains, you know, five minutes before their, their slated match start time. I know the match has started in 16 minutes. And we all know that we always start directly on time. If you've ever been a part of these before, usually it takes, usually you run about five, 10 minutes behind schedule. But we'll see. And we'll make sure that we get those map selections uh, ironed out for you guys so that you, both the team captains can see. Without, with that being said, uh, I'll also post in the chat, so I'm going to post in the event announcements, the mutator, I'm going to post the mutator and the map list, and then I'm also going to post General Sir Anthony's uh, stream, which has a two minute delay on it, so it shouldn't affect the outcome of games, and I mean, if you're doing that in the first place, just don't be a fucking asshole, apply common sense, we're all here to play, um, and yeah, we'll get these games rocking and rolling. Let's do this. Yeah, thanks for all your hard work out there, Dad. Good luck yeah, for teams. Yeah, agreed. Good luck out there, teammates. Thank you. And Thank you. Op4. Thanks. thanks, guys. Good luck to you, too. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes!